A stroller is one of the most expensive purchases a parent can make, which means you need to know you're making the right decision before you put your money on the line. Of course, it can also be a very cheap purchase if you go for a budget model when it comes to baby strollers, the price range is vast. That also makes it extremely difficult to know which ones are actually worth your money. That's why we've done the work to consider every angle, so you don't have to be overwhelmed with choices. In many ways, looking for one of the best strollers has to offer is a lot like shopping for a car. Just as you do for that similarly overwhelming process, you must first identify your needs. To help you in your search, we tested top 5 best strollers across several different categories. Our recommendation number 1 is Baby Jogger City Mini GT2. It's a great idea to buy a convertible stroller for your first baby if you're considering having a second. It gives you the flexibility to add another seat and convert it into a double later on down the line. But while a convertible stroller will work well enough, a dedicated double stroller might better suit your needs. The Baby Jogger City Mini GT2 Double is an all-terrain side-by-side -side double stroller with several advantages over a convertible double stroller. For one, its maneuverability doesn't change with the number and size of the kids it's carrying. A convertible double stroller has its seats arranged in a tandem configuration. If you have an older toddler in the front seat, the added weight over the front wheels will affect your steering effort. A side-by-side -side doesn't have that problem if you don't exceed the stroller's weight limits. Being an all-terrain stroller, the GT2 Double has larger wheels and a fantastic suspension that provide a smooth ride on pavement, and more off-road capability for outdoor excursions. To set the brake, simply pull the lever on the right rail. Folding the GT2 Double is as easy as pulling the straps on the seats. The stroller collapses neatly in half, though you need to be ready for the top to swing down to avoid smacking your shins. Carrying the GT2 Double by those straps is easy enough, but at 36.5 pounds, it's far from being a lightweight stroller. Getting it in and out of your car requires some muscle, especially if you lift it over and into a conventional trunk. Additionally, its substantial width makes it bulky even when folded, so you'll need to clear a good amount of space to make room for it. The GT2 Double isn't cheap, but it makes life with two young kids a little bit easier, and for that, I say it's worth every penny. Our recommendation number two is Wonderful W4 Lux. Unless you're a stroller enthusiast, you probably won't notice when another parent rolls up next to you with a fancy set of wheels. But everyone will notice the wonderful W4 Lux. This imposing four-seat stroller wagon stands at 4.5 feet tall with the canopy fully extended and is just over 4 feet long. On walks, it will take up most of the sidewalk. Despite its size, the largest Wonderfold model is relatively easy to maneuver, though don't expect it to navigate tight corridors and aisles. You will feel the weight of the wagon, plus your kids when pushing uphill or for long periods, but the large 12-inch wheels in the rear make that task less laborious. The Wonderful W4 Lux is kind of like a pack N play on wheels and, as such, it's spacious. The wagon comes with two bench seats, which accommodate two children each. The shoulder room will be tight with two toddlers on one bench, but it's manageable. We usually install the front-facing bench for our two kids, leaving space for blankets, toys and whatever else they need in the front of the wagon. I like that the walls are tall enough that my three-year-old can't just jump out whenever he wants, and he likes the secret zipper door in the front that allows him to crawl in and out when opened. The canopy is simple and effective, providing plenty of shade no matter the sun's position. When not needed, the canopy rods slide out and stow neatly in the back of the wagon. Also in the back is a large external cargo basket that can hold your diaper bag and more. The W4 Lux's best feature is also its biggest downside, it's massive. The wagon weighs 58 pounds in total, and while folding it does shrink it down substantially, it's still bulky. This isn't a stroller you can fit easily in an average size trunk. You need to be able to fold some seats down or have a truck bed to toss it into and even then, lifting it in and out won't be easy. With all that said, the wonderful W4 Lux isn't well suited for everyday stroller duties. If you have two or more kids and go on regular family adventures, 
The W4 Lux is a fantastic option that you'll get years of use out of. Our recommendation number 3 is Chico Corso Stroller. The Corso is a full-size, single-seat travel system stroller, which means it was designed from the outset to be compatible with a car seat, in this case, the Chico Keyfit range. Though the Corso seat is suitable for newborn babies, it reclines fully and comes with an infant insert. It's easier to keep your little one in their car seat, remove it from its base, pop it into your stroller and go. Doing this avoids transferring your baby, which is a game changer if they're sound asleep and want them to stay asleep. The Corso is a mid-range stroller, so it feels plain compared to high-end offerings in the same class. Some of its materials are somewhat rough to the touch, and overall the seat lacks the plushness you might expect based on its upscale, modern design. I tested the Corso LE model, which does add a few more premium features, such as a faux leather wrap for the handlebar and bumper bar, and a larger cargo basket with cup holder pouches. It also upgrades the wheels from plastic to a treaded rubber design. These enhancements help raise the Corso's luxury quotient, but if you're expecting upper baby or Nuna levels of quality, you'll be sorely disappointed. What the Corso lacks in luxury, it makes up for with practicality and value. The Corso is handy with a supple ride that's easy on your hands and your baby. The seat has three recline positions and will lay flat. Meanwhile, the canopy provides good coverage thanks to a zip-out extension. I love the one-handed folding mechanism, similar to the Chico Bravo, and it comes in handy when you've got a baby occupying your other hand. Once folded, the stroller stands on its own a highly underrated feature. The Corso is often paired with a Keyfit infant car seat the standard Corso gets the Keyfit 30 while the Corso LE gets the Keyfit 35. That makes sense since a travel system stroller works best when you have the car seat it's designed to work with. You can, however, buy the Corso separately. The Chico Corso is a versatile stroller that looks chic and performs well and is a comparable option from Upper Baby or Nuna. Our recommendation number 4 is Via Cruiser Next Generation Premium Stroller. It's rare for a stroller to live up to its marketing hype, but the Via Cruiser does just that with a rugged design that offers capability and utility in spades. The Via is a versatile stroller wagon that seats two children. The wagon can be pulled or pushed, though pushing requires some getting used to as it steers from the back in this configuration. In keeping with its extreme outdoorsy image, the wagon is designed to be hosed down when it gets dirty. This is a great feature, especially if your kids spill food from the center snack tray. The Via Cruiser's 12-inch rear wheels help it crawl over uneven terrain, while the front wheels with integrated suspension help smooth out the ride. The sides of the wagon are at a good height for a toddler to rest their arms on and they can easily climb in and out. Though the sides, seat backs and handlebar collapse flat, the Via Cruiser is still bulky when folded due to its large wheels. It's also on the heavy side at 32.5 pounds. The Via Cruiser has many useful features out of the box, but some conveniences that come standard on other strollers are only available as optional accessories. For example, if you want shade for your children, you'll have to fork over an additional $60 each for the retractable canopies. If you want more cargo space, the rear cargo basket will set you back at around $80. The advantage of offering everything a la carte is you can customize your Via Cruiser to your heart's content with unique colors and prints. The Via Cruiser is undoubtedly a pricey option, especially after accessories, but you'll appreciate this wagon's versatility and robustness if you find yourself outdoors often. The Via Cruiser is pricier than other strollers on this list. But if you enjoy having the option to fully customize your stroller to your ever-changing baby needs, it may be well worth the price. Our recommendation number 5 is UPP Ababi Minu V2 Stroller. The Minu V2 builds on the original with small but meaningful improvements. The latch that keeps the stroller together when folded is now hinged and spring-loaded, making it easier to release and unfold. The canopy has been redesigned with a zip-out extension, replacing the previous pull-down shade that got loose and floppy over time. There's also an adjustable leg rest, a welcome addition for naps in the stroller. These enhancements only make a great stroller even better. The Minu V2 still boasts exceptional maneuverability and a smooth, comfortable ride for a small stroller. 
Storage space is limited, but there's enough room in the cargo basket to stow a backpack-style diaper bag. Another reason you'll love it is it fits just about anywhere. There's no need to worry about clearance issues when you're rolling through a densely packed store and no matter what other junk you have in your trunk, odds are the Minu V2 will fit. Unfortunately, one feature that hasn't been updated is the two-pedal brake system. Normally, you step on the red pedal to set the brakes on both wheels and step on the green to release them, but in some cases, the pedals stick and fail to lock or unlock both wheels. This is an annoyance but won't affect functionality too much as you can still set the brake manually on each wheel. The Minu V2 is high for a compact stroller, but its ease of use and overall build quality will ensure that you get plenty of mileage out of it.